Hello friends, welcome to Adhesh Academy and today we are going to learn about the secrets of happiness. Friends, there is absolutely no doubt that we want happiness more than anything else. Whatever we do in our life, whether we want to achieve wealth, whether we want to achieve power, whether we want to achieve success, whether we want relationship, whether we want love, ultimately everything is connected with happiness. Happiness is the goal of life. That is why Aristotle, one of the greatest philosopher of the world said, happiness is the meaning and purpose of life, the whole aim and the end of human existence. That is the importance of happiness. But if you look around, you find that most of the people are quite unhappy. So why it happens? Why we are not able to achieve the best thing in our life. Some people say that happiness is the state of mind. It depends upon the contentment. You can create happiness anytime. This is not correct. Happiness is not purely a state of mind. It is as much connected with your inner self as it is connected with the outer self. We have to understand the secrets of happiness and today I am going to tell you four secrets of happiness. The first secret of happiness is that happiness is an experience. Life is said to be a stream of experiences, Anubha Dhara. Because every moment we are experiencing a different form of life. If that experience is good, we are happy. If the experience is bad, we are unhappy. So a happy person is one who is having more experiences which are good and an unhappy person is one who is having more experiences which is bad. Everybody has good and bad experiences but one who can capture more happy experiences is the person who can be said to be truly happy. Now you have to understand that there is an subjectivity as well as objectivity in the experience. For example, in the summer month, if the outside temperature is 55 degrees, there is no way you can feel happy unless you have some cooling mechanism. So, irrespective of what is your state of mind, you are going to feel tortured and unhappy in such situation. But at the same time, happiness is also subjective. For example, a person whom you dislike is your subjective experience. The same person may be liked by many other people and therefore the same person would be loved by somebody while hated by somebody and both experiences are subjective because the person is same. And therefore both things come together. Partly it is external world, you have to change the external world according to you and partly your internal transformation is also needed. The second most important thing is that happiness is organic. Happiness is like a living organism. It's not a dead thing. It cannot be defined. Just like you cannot define a person in the same way you cannot define an happiness. The same thing which makes you happy now may become a source of torture tomorrow or after some time. Like suppose you love listening to a particular song. You enjoy it. But if I keep playing the song for 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, then the same song will become a source of torture for you. So you have to understand that just like a person cannot remain same, our happiness also keep changing like a living being. It has two parts. One is the soul of happiness. The other is the body of happiness. The body of happiness, we can compare it with the external achievement like our success, wealth, name, fame, which everybody see, everybody knows. But there is an internal component of happiness which we call soul and that soul means contentment, satisfaction, peace. And therefore, both things when they are together, then they constitute the true form of happiness. And we have to see that the inner self and the outer self are in harmony with each other 
to give us the sense of happiness. The third most important thing is that happiness is a choice. If you want, you can be happy at any situation. And if you don't choose happiness, you will be unhappy throughout your life. People think that if I get more money, if I get more power, if I get name, I'll be happy. But actually, it never happens like that. Because if you gain some money, you want more. You compare yourself with an even richer person and you feel that you need more. So instead of getting happy, you become unhappy. In the same way, power also is like that. You become powerful, but then when you compare with somebody who is more powerful than you, then you again feel unhappy. And even if you become the most powerful person like Prime Minister of India, then also you are not happy because you are fearing the loss of that power in the next election. And therefore, please don't have this illusion that happiness is connected with any achievement. It is a matter of choice. You have to choose to be happiness. You have to decide to be happiness with whatever you have. And if you choose to be happy, you can be happy any time. The fourth secret of happiness is that happiness and success are interconnected with each other. Most of the time we feel that we will be happy when we will become successful. But the opposite of that is also true. When we are happy, then we are likely to be successful. If you are unhappy, then you are not likely to succeed as much as a person who is happy. So there is a beautiful quote by Albert who says that success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. So remember that if you are happy, you increase your chances of success also. So these are the four secrets of happiness. If you remember these four secrets of happiness, then you will be able to achieve happiness in your life. So thank you very much for watching the video and keep watching the video and keep suggesting new topics for the video. Thank you very much.